Stone Touch. That's the first lesson I had to learn when I went to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Eric last week uh, talked about the dangerous animal in Australia. I want to talk about the animals I encounter on one of my favorite uh, activities in Australia, that's diving. I love diving. So there are little things in diving, like this big, called Moody Branch. You find them in all colors. I love them. Yeah, I might be able to touch them. They are not going to kill me. <laughs> um, and then there are lots of mist around diving and the creatures we encounter. So I've been diving and I had the chance to see two Monterey's diving around me for half an hour. So Monterey's in some of the mist are going this these creatures, they are eating people, stay away from them, they are devils. They're just fascinating, nice um, fish to see. And yes, you can touch them, they don't kill you. They don't eat you because they just eat the plankton. So, but also don't touch for their safety. Diving is all about things which, if we touch it, we have oily fingers, we actually destroy a lot while we are diving. So it's not only for our safety. We need to take care of what we see down there because it's a special world. For instance, boxfish. It's kind of um, the brother of the pufferfish. You might know if you um, stress a pufferfish, he puffs up to defend himself. According, you only, a pufferfish can do this seven times and then he dies out of stress. So you might not want to touch him because if he puffs up, he loses like a cat's life. So he might die after the seventh spell. Turtles. They are fascinating, nice creatures. People like to hold on to them. Please don't do it. Yes, they might survive you letting them go, but they can actually die out of stress maybe half an hour, an hour later. So please, for their safety, don't touch them. The reef. The reef really gets destroyed all over. Lots of divers go down there, don't know how to dive, touch everything, need to have safety. While we are doing that, we're actually destroying the reef, some of the reefs anyway get destroyed because of the water temperature is rising, so we don't need to um, destroy them even further, it's just touching everything. But maybe there are things we can touch. I personally prefer not to touch anything if somehow avoidable. Sometimes, unfortunately, it's not. Sometimes a uh, current takes you somewhere and you touch or you get bashed against something, we just try to avoid it. I've been diving with the seals. They're really fascinating, they come really close, and you're going, ooh, I don't know <laughs> exactly. They are really curious. And then they open their mouths and they have really all those sharp teeth, and I'm going, yeah, I'm not going to touch you. So <laughs> 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 yeah, they are kind of nice. Dolphins, every one of us probably knows dolphins. You see them in the films, everyone touches them. They are trained dolphins, so yes, of course, touch them if the trainer stands next to you and say, oh, you can pet them really nice, really interesting skin they have. However, if you come across them in the ocean, you might not want to touch them because they also have sharp little teeth. I love cockfish. We have tiny ones in Australia and they have the giant ones. They are curious. So this one, my dive buddy said, oh, medium-sized cockfish. And I'm going, oh, cool. Went under, going, whoa, a big one. And he was really curious, came really close. I'm going, yeah, no, we could touch each other. But if he gets really fine and just sucks, goes onto my face, I actually could end up in trouble. So those things I could touch, I prefer not to if somehow possible. There are things which, yes, like Eric pointed out, you might not want to touch. So if you see them, you actually might want to run in the other direction or swim. Like the blue ringed octopus. A friend of mine, Dave, he actually saw a blue ringed octopus diving. It's really rare. He was brave enough to stay to take a picture of it. I probably would have just gone as far as way as possible because their poison probably would kill me before I have the chance to go up to the surface. <laughs> so yeah. Morays. Yeah, they are not that poisoned, but actually they eat whatever they find. So their teeth and they have lots of stuff between their teeth. So if they bite you, you can get really nasty infections and you actually just don't need to do it. So you can see them, take a picture of them but maybe you want to just step a little bit away from them, not too close. Blue bottles. Jellyfish, that's one which went through the beach. I was like, oh, nice blue and shiny. I love blue. So <laughs> I was like, hmm, I want to 
touch it. Okay, I'm in Australia, I'm not going to. <laughs> Took just a picture of it, went back, showed my friends, and they said, yeah, they are the blue bottle, they are the one with sting you. You do not want to touch them. So, yeah, if you're in Australia, don't touch them. Sharks. Sharks, from my point of view, are those unfair creatures who are always made the evils. Yes, they are casualty with sharks. And yes, they do bite. And yes, if you step onto a dog, the dog might bite you as well. So if you step on a shark, you probably bite because it wants to defend <laughs> The media in Australia or around the world, get, oh, shark attack in Australia. I believe two years ago, there was a shark attack in Sydney. So I had a phone call from my mother. Oh, don't go in the water. However, the media never reported that this person just tried to climb over a fence and got caught on his arm and to pass in front of his girlfriend, he said he got bitten by a shark. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what the rest of the world doesn't hear. And so the sharks, like the leopard shark, which is beautiful to watch, it doesn't really bite. And there is actually only 1.2 <laughs> sharks attack per year. Yes, if you are the one person per year who dies because of a shark attack, Yes, you are the unlucky one, but sharks yeah. are usually not as dangerous as they are made out of, and people die of other things way more easily than of shark attacks. And so be safe, don't touch anything if you ever go to Australia, but enjoy it. Thank you.